in you know very obscure scientific publications at which point i realized that all of the <laughs> all of the um, muscles in in the animals that we eat have some level of vitamin c and it's not very much but if you're if that's the basis of your diet if all of your calories are coming from meat that's just going to add up and it's going to add up to the point where it it covers the anti scurvy anti scorbutic dose um which is another issue and that's that the RDAs are based on not just the amount that you need to not show a deficiency a frank deficiency but they have this whole baked in idea that they they want to make the RDAs not just be enough so that you don't end up with some terrible disease uh, like rickets or or a beriberi or scurvy or whatever the, the case may be, but that it's supporting health so you're not getting chronic diseases. But the problem is that our conception of how chronic diseases work is so skewed and so based on um, you know epidemiology and things that don't really support causal knowledge that the RDA in the US for for vitamin C is like 10 times as much as you probably actually need based on metabolic syndrome type diseases and so we know that if you're on a low carb diet your your risk for metabolic disease metabolic syndrome is very very low because it's actually reversing metabolic syndrome so i don't have any kind of worry about needing a dose that might help reverse metabolic syndrome if my diet is already doing that. I ended up doing a pretty deep dive and writing about the various aspects of vitamin C, not just based on carnivore dieters not getting scurvy and not just based on the RDA having not actually measured it and the RDA being based on um, the potential for chronic disease, but I also uh, was looking into ways that vitamin C is used in the body and whether some of the things that we're eating might actually um, lower the need for vitamin C. One piece of evidence that was always really interesting and compelling to me was that we knew from, from Arctic explorations that fresh meat actually cures scurvy. So it's very famous to talk about limeys and people bringing um, citrus fruits to get vitamin C to prevent scurvy uh, in those explorations. But what seems to have become less um, <laughs> noticed is that this, this point